I've just popped out of bed and I am genuinely so excited that the Vuelta starts today. One of the massive positives I've got from doing these cycling paintings is the reactions from people, which has made me feel more integrated into the cycling community. And part of that makes me feel a bit ashamed to be quite out of shape. And so I've, I'm making a new bid to get back in shape. So I'm eating fruit for breakfast and lunch, and I'm going for a cycle ride every day. And that is something, uh, part of the journey, I'm going to be logging in these vlogs if you don't want to see it, then I've, I'll put up a little link. You can skip to the painting part of these videos. Yum, yum, yum. So as I was out on my cycle ride, I bumped into this guy and I got off my bike, gave him a bit of cashish and recorded him for, uh, singing this song. I thought it was awesome, so I, I'm bringing you a little bit of that to give you a sense of where I went on my cycles. And for those people who don't live in London or haven't been to Hampstead lately, this is, I don't live in Hampstead, but this is where I went. It's just nice to see this kind of stuff. So enjoy the song, and I'll bring you a few images of Hampstead and a little bit of Camden as well, where I stopped off to see some old friends of mine. This is a little warm up, warm up, a teaser for before the Vuelta, which starts today at 4.30 for those of you in the UK. I'm super excited about it. This looks as though these are the main favorites. They're not, I don't think, mainly because Constor is not at his peak, but it's an unpredictable race. And I actually think Constor is going to do something quite surprising. Um, don't hold me to that, but I'm backing him. I love him so much. Maybe my heart is clouding my brain. And obviously Froome didn't peak in the tour, well, not didn't peak early in the tour, he peaked towards the end, and hopefully that will follow over is what I'm hearing. But this I thought was a great shot of the the old guard, Constor, who's such a hero of bike racing, and the new hero, Chris Froome. Except if you're French, he's not a hero. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the first stage of La Vuelta 2017. I've got a little table in front of me with my iPad on and my and the paintings. I'll just quickly go through what I thought was great. First of all, this one. It's just, I think, a nice image of things about to get started. It's the moment that you have everything fresh in your legs and you're about to go. And I wanted to catch that. Not too many thoughts. self explanatory I think the organizers did really well to, ooh, Look at that. to set up a course which looks really beautiful obviously that's well no maybe not obviously but i think that's a really important part of these grand tours and the bike races in general is that it's not just about what's on the road it's about what happens to the side of the road and it's kind of without getting too much into it i think that it's it's a metaphor for existence because i think bike racing especially in the tour with all the drama and the friendships and the betrayals and the money and the the teamwork it all it all comes in and people coming together as well in the celebration of life it all comes in to be a kind of metaphor for existence this is just uh, well it's not just it it is a painting of the guys in Kofidis going through the arena and I thought it was really great this guy at the back I don't know his name he weighs at the crowd and I thought it really showed that he was present and he was there and he was enjoying it. And that connection with the crowd, I thought that was really great. And to see someone enjoy their job, even though it's extremely painful, and it is, it's not just like a walk in the park, these team stages. A lot of the guys go off the back because they can't keep up. So it's real stuff. 
This next one is from Lotto. I picked out this because it was really quite spectacular to watch actually, more than anything. It sounds really bad saying that, but it was a guy, he went to a corner, he, he gets his front wheel into a pothole as far as I can see, and he just flips. And it was a really, he went straight up in the air and flipped over and then boshed on the ground on his back, luckily not his head. Or, or his coccyx actually, because that can really do damage, as I well know. And he actually popped up, didn't look too happy, but he did get back on. And that was, that's a little sequence showing what he managed to do in the air. This, I mean, if you followed any of my Instagram, you will know why I did this. This is Alberto Constor giving it giving it something, maybe not everything, but he was. And yeah, Alberto Constor, this, this image for me really kind of stuck out because I feel quite connected to him and I, I feel a lot of other people do as well. And I think the reason for that is that he did so well in sort of 2007 through to 2011. And then he got pinged for clenbuterol, which is a fat reducing muscle maintaining drug and I'd love to say he's on amazing form, scintillating form, but he is on battling form. So you saw that in the tour, he crashed a few times, which has been happening a lot recently. And luckily in this stage, he didn't crash, but he really gave it something, which is the battling spirit, which we've actually, he's morphed. He used to be this like real untouchable grand tour winner. And that's changed. And I think that's, that's what bonds people to him actually. It was my previous point, which I'm coming back to now, is that, We've seen he's human. He actually looked a bit aggressive and a bit sort of robotic before. And just to see someone who's not robotic, he talks to his teammates. He's a real person, he's trying. He's using mind games. And I love that because it's showing personality. Something we a little bit miss, I think, in these recent, uh, in, in modern racing. So Constor in race jersey number one, because it's his final year, last year's jersey, who would be wearing number one, it's usually the winner from last year, Quintana won it last year. He's not racing, so they decided to give it to Constor, racing in his home country in Spain for the Vuelta. This year, Team Sky with Chris Froome are trying to complete what appears to be relatively hard, or if not impossible, in recent years, which is to win two Grand Tours in a row. There are three Grand Tours, the Tour of Spain, Giro in May, uh, the Tour de France in July, and then in August, September, there's the Vuelta a España, which is the Tour of Spain. Um, so Chris Rubin's trying to do the double, which is win the Tour de France, which he has successfully done this year. And now he's going to, trying to win the Vuelta, which is a bold move, and particularly because the Vuelta is more erratic. And he has sort of exhausted a lot of part of his a big part of his team during the Tour de France in July. He's coming with a sort of a, not a B team exactly because they're they're obviously really impressive riders, but um, not the best of the best in terms of winning uh, strength and his teammates. And he's trying to do a double, uh, so that's going to be really exciting. And when I'm I'm currently painting the arena here as you can see, which is in Nîmes. And I, I love all cyclists, you know, I, I don't, I love the sport, I love the competition, so I don't really hold on tightly to someone in particular winning, but as much as I think that, and I say that, when these, the, the you know, Team Sky in their, in their black skin suits came through the arena gate or the arch and burst onto that scene, my heart surged, it sort of it leaped out, I thought, you know, these guys are heroes. <laughs> and I loved it. It, it. it was a real sort of peak of emotion for me. And that's what I'm trying to capture in these images, is the moments where something leaps out of me and I feel, I feel a connection and something exciting and out of the ordinary. And so that's why I picked out this moment with Team Kai, Sky zooming through the arena in Nîmes. It was just awesome. Me right, my Vamos, contador! Vamos! Go through! Through me, through me, through me! Allez, bardez! Bardez, allez! Forzaro! Forza, forzaro! Die, die, die! Allez! And when I saw them coming to the stadium, they were like this, this team of 
black, moving, powerful shapes. And they're kind of this, the camera shot zooms around on them. And you've got this gladiatorial arena with the crowd going wild. And them zooming through the, the middle of it, heads down, really focused. I thought that was an awesome image. And I wanted to capture that. And the final image, sorry to interrupt the song, is, <laughs> is Rowan Dennis in the red jersey, which is the equivalent of the yellow jersey of Tour de France. But in Spain, they have the red jersey. I thought, great moment for him. Nice thing to remember, because uh, he ain't going to have it long. Stage three is mountains. He's going to lose it, probably. Um, I'm doing these YouTube videos every day. Come back. And the best way to do that, let's do this, is to click the subscribe button, which will be somewhere, probably down that way.